It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between AFC East rivals. It's the Miami Dolphins and the New England Patriots. All that and more coming up next. On a warm and sunny afternoon in the Bay State of Massachusetts, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon God and Charles Davis back with you. And Charles, for years, a trip to Foxborough quite often led to a loss for opposing teams. But the Patriots have been, in essence, a 500 team since the departure of TB12 three years ago. And things have switched because they are a defense-led team, and that's what's kept them in most games. Their key, can they get more explosive on offense and truly establish who their QB1 is? Meanwhile, for the visiting Dolphins, we know about the weapons on offense on the perimeter. But you think this is a team, Charles, that needs to step it up defensively to go to the next level? I do. And they have the pieces in place. They have excellent players. Perhaps the new system that's been brought in will give them that edge that they need in the AFC East. Jason Sanders now to get this one started and we are underway in Foxborough. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and he even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. And his first look is incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Now a second and ten. A thousand yard rusher a year ago. Here's Ramondre Stevenson. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Throwing Jones. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that may get lost in the grand scheme of things, but one thing's for sure. You certainly don't want to go three and out to start the game. So that's a nice job of finding the right play call and coming up with a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Back to throw. Jones. Short pass caught by Henry. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Him and it's incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. 
So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from him, it absolutely occurred. Tua now on first down. He'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. And that one going to come up short, low throw. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength. And he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. He'll let this go deep for Waddle. And that's caught at the 25. Touchdown, Jalen Waddle, 70 yards. And the Dolphins will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, they said that they wanted to get him involved early, and what a way to cap their opening drive, Charles. We know he's one of the fastest receivers in the NFL, and he showcased it on that play. And when you have a guy like that, you want to make sure the defense sees him early, right? You want to see how they're going to adjust, how they're going to try and guard him, because they can't replicate his speed in practice unless they've got one of the few guys who are as fast as he is. And all it took was one drive, he burned them, and I don't think it's the last time they call his number in this one. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Jones on first down. He'll dump this down to Stevenson. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that. But if you're a confident quarterback and to play that position, you have to be. You just act like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. To throw once more on second and 10. Jones. And this complete to a man they went against in practice for years, Devontae Parker. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 36 yards on the play. Well, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. On the right side open is Gasicki. Not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. Back 
Back to throw again. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. They come up to the line now, facing a third and 10 after the incompletion. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Pats are an extra point away from evening this one up. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? They kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So Miami coming out for their second drive. Second down coming up. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's the second down and six. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, hey, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. So on fourth down, here's Jake Bailey to punt for the Dolphins. And the all-pro return man, Marcus Jones, deep for New England. We'll call that a 43-yard punt, two on the return, and the Patriots take over. New England trying to get to place on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. 
Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. That one complete to Parker. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, they were going draw play there. The defense wasn't fooled. They sniffed it out. I think they're going to have to go back and take a few more acting classes because that's what a lot of that is. You've got to influence them to think that it's going to be a pass play and have them drop out and maybe the defensive front coming forward and find yourself some space. In this case, no one was fooled and ended up spilling that play pretty well. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be Dolphin football. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. This is second and eight. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Third and five. Looking to pass, Tua. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is gonna have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warmup. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Right back to A-Chain on second down. Four yards, the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. Two first downs have him up to the 41 now for first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. Throw to the right, taken in by Barrios. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. 
And this one is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Two are going to throw. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Matthew Judon in there to take him down. They've gone up over 30 yards of turf so far, but the sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So now after the sack, Tua and the Dolphins staring at a third and long. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. That's caught. Waddle on the left side. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. He had the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. So an eight-play drive gets him down there, but play number nine, that winds up a missed field goal. And they definitely move the ball well. That's a drive where you hate to come away with nothing. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Throwing to start the drive, Jones. Short pass caught by Henry, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. These two teams all tied after one. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and five. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. And this offense on third down today, they've hit two for four thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time he uses quickness to make a play. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That has lots of leg behind it. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to these kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. Want to hear it? Yep. 
They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50 plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Ryland now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And this take it in at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. On play action, here's Tua. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. Looking sideline, incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looping. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. So fourth down, Tua departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. Sanders' kick is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Patriots ready to try again on offense. The last time I remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get him three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They run once more with Stevenson, powering forward. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll be a Patriot first. 
first down on a pickup of 16. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out and right up the middle. Play three of the drive, not as successful. They go backwards after those two first down gains. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Short pass caught by Henry. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Here's Bryce Barringer now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them wanted to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a pun. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Here's Tua. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. <laughs> This offense so far on third down, they've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, that's well done defensively. They get the pressure they needed on third down. All the receivers are locked up tight, and they force that quarterback to just throw it away. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. New England's offense set to go. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive. And a good physical run that time. He's going to wind up gaining five on that one. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. From the 34-yard line, here's second and five. Throwing Jones. Now a short one to Gesicki, and he goes out right around the 39. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now Jones. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. They've looked his way quite a bit, and in my estimation, as well they should. Well, that's now five catches in this first half alone. And he picks up another first down. He's been an important part of their offense here early. On the handoff, Stevenson. 
And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Shoves him aside. And he's going to have the Patriots first down. His good running gets him to about the 44. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing the offense just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 44-yard line. Operating from the gun, Jones. And a Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. They bring the safety on the blitz, and he busts through to drop him for an eight-yard loss. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Jones, he'll dump this down to Stevenson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Looking to throw. Jones has set up the screen for Stevenson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive and it winds up breaking big and they convert on third down. On first down, Jones. This one to Bourne out on the left side. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it and that'll bring up second down. to throw again. Pass complete once again to Bourne. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 15-yard line. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Second and 10, we're all knotted up at 10, but it appears that may change soon. Only question is, will they have to settle for three? They'll look to throw again. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Stevenson. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a tick under a minute to go before half. And the Dolphins beef up the secondary here as they look to stop him on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. 
That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that one. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. It's not like you're going negative on that I was. Partner. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half with his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. On first down, Tunga Bailoa. And his throw is incomplete. Second and ten. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Looking to pass to him. And that is incomplete. And here's Jake Bailey now. And looking up into the sun, he's able to make the fair catch inside the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. I think that's a big time play there because the slant route is really hard to cover because the timing is so quick. But able to see it, diagnose it, and get to the football, that's why he's able to bat it away. On second and 10, Jones. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. This time they stay on the ground. And they will bottle him up behind the line, and now will they use a timeout? The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. The Patriots send out their punter, standing just about on his own goal line. And here comes Berrios. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Two and now on first down. A short throw there, that's to Smythe, the tight end. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half.
from the 47. It's second and five. Tua sets up to pass it. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Early on, the running game's been working well, and the offensive line has been pleased by that. The thought process there, catch those safeties creeping up, trying to help against the running game. They tried to hit them over the top unsecessfully. And this won't get there. Won't be online either. It's no good. Off to the right. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a solid first half from the Oklahoma man, Ramondre Stevenson. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. And he returns this to the 22. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. And Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. Here's second and seven. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on third down this has certainly been a physical game so far limited scoring opportunities for both sides and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled they head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down they're going to look to throw work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete and he is going to have the dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion show run with three tight ends here on first down they'll run right side with Mostert taken down at the 42 second down and eight Throwing now is Tungavailoa. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Out routes are always timing routes. And if the timing's off just a little bit, it can really throw off a play. It looked like he led him a little too much there. Yeah, there was a fraction of a second because he caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. Throwing is Tungavailoa on third down here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. Two 
Two are going to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 39 yard line. Ball on the 39. Here's second and a couple. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Play action. Now it's Tua. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 19. But forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Two and now on first down. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 12 more yards there and another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Motion man is Barrios. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Now Tua. Tua fighting his old Alabama teammate Jalen Waddell. And the Dolphins have retaken a third quarter lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was finished off by a Jalen Waddle touchdown. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, 
get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. He stiff arms him. Shreds him with a stiff arm. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 79 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. Jones now throwing on first down to the right side. He's got Parker. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Back to throw. Jones. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 32-yard line. A couple of big plays in succession there for the Pats. They're on the move. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. And he stopped immediately there. Calling no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defense able to get there, swarm to the football. Zilch, zero, not of there for the offense, Charles. Yeah, it really was an example of good team defense, wasn't it? Everyone handled their responsibilities, and they held them to no gain. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Short pass caught by Henry. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots have taken the lead here in this third quarter. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that gives him a three-point lead. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And this will be a touchback. Barrios deciding not to bring it out. Jalen Waddell, the speedster wide receiver, brings out this offense. He's been his typical solid and reliable self, hasn't he, Charles? When you have that go-to receiver that you can count on in the situation where you absolutely have to have him, there's nothing better for anybody who's throwing the football. The best part is the payoff. Two touchdowns already. That's the bottom line when you throw the ball to a guy. Absolutely. Not over 100 yards right now, but he does have the two touchdown catches. Defensively, they were in the 3-4, and that O-line just dominated the D-line there. Let's go with the verbal telestrator here because that D-line has a nose over the center. And it has the two defensive ends over the offensive tackles. That means the guards don't have anyone over the top of them. That creates a natural bundle inside. They sprint upfield 
take on the inside linebackers. If the back hits it fast enough, there should be space to run. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That swung out to Mostert. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Second and five. Here's Tua. Got a man, it's Barrios complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 32-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll set up to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That one goes for 24 yards. to throw and they're gonna get him they bring him down to the sack back at the 16 yard line Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping him well there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining they took a sack on first and goal but that close to the goal line that still definitely hurts two of their three red zone trips so far they've come up empty on they'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal he will push his way down to about the 14. Only a couple yards there, and that's going to set up a long third and goal. <laughs> I have to laugh a little bit because he actually handed it off. I thought with the two touchdown passes he's thrown in this one already, he'd go ahead and fling and try and get a third one. Yeah, now from this spot on third down, I think he'd probably throw it here. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. They, they won't even send in a running play here, I don't believe. I think they go ahead and try and throw it for a touchdown. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. There certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. And the attempt at three will have to come from the other end of the field as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. Offense gets set to go. And there's Ramondre Stevenson. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't feel like there's going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Second down, eight to go from the 28. 
Again, it's Stevenson. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. 111 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. They'll come up now third and three. Now Jones. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Well, they've had success getting the ball to him out of the backfield, but this time they had a man right on him. He was able to break that play up before he could get started. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. Jalen Waddle running out, and that means that the Dolphins ready for another drive on offense. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Call that a pretty good day at the office. And I love the accumulation. The catches, the yardage. That means he's having a pretty good impact on this ball game and really helping his team out. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. Give him 30 yards there. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They'll set up a throw. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it, and he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. On second down, Mostert. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes a little tread left on the tires. He'll get it to the 23-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Off of play action. Tug of Iloa. That's out to Hill. Right side complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. From the gun, it's Tua. Touchdown! Tyreek Hill on the touchdown pass from Tua. And the Dolphins have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. A really well-executed fade route offers little risk for the offense. If you throw it to the outside where only the receiver can get it, it's either a touchdown or an incompletion, but no big play for the defense. Sanders now to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So the drive there took six plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill.
Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Throwing Jones. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. Here's second and ten. To throw again, Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Jones. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I don't know. He had to be pretty quick with his fingers to start and stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know? Yeah. The mental focus. Yeah, the that's true. got to stay with it. That's true. The Patriots send out their punter as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. Especially with a touchdown. <laughs> yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Second down. Here's Mostert again. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. <laughs> Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. And the putter Bailey on now as he sends this one away. Here's Jones. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Second down and a little more than a yard here. A give for Stevenson, running right. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. 
Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that'll be caught by Parker. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. Play action. Jones. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. Motion man is Barrios. Second down, here's Mostert again. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. They bring pressure there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now second and five. They'll stay on the ground with Mostert. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Tungavailoa looking to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he 
he's got a man complete. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they will take a knee here. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. There he goes left side. And he is going to have a Miami first down and the Dolphins are going to win the football game. A big gain there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on them to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trail coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Well, you really can't ask for much more than what we just had here. Not only a close game that went down to the wire, Charles, but a clean one, too. No turnovers in this contest. I think you're exactly right about that. To me, this is just a pair of offenses trying to find the slightest bit of separation from each other. And they were both hoping that the other side would make the big mistake first. But today, neither side made that mistake. And what we got, a very entertaining game throughout.